Well, I'll tell you what. First impressions around town, she feels great. Woo! <laughs> they do such a great job of balancing classic and modern. I love this uh, digital gauge cluster right here. Whoa, which is the better Indian right now? Oh my God, we got a 2025 Indian Scout 101 right here. We have a lot of explaining to do. Now, I know you're asking yourself like 10 million questions right now, but we'll get into that briefly. Let's just do a little walkthrough around the bike. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a surprise, I'm telling you, man. This is a huge surprise for me right now. Uh, so sleek, so nice in this color. Oof. This bike has like a, a power button here, so I already uh, went ahead and turned it on. And then the ignition on this side. All right, so what I wanted to do today is just kind of give you my first take on the Indian 101. First time being on this bike, first time seeing it in person, first time everything. I love this uh, digital gauge cluster right here. Huge fan of this, man. You just navigate through everything. Hmm. Stand, let's leave let's leave it on standard for now and then we'll, uh, we'll put it on sport now let me just answer the number one question that you probably have this is my bike well it's my bike for the next month or two i'm not sure how long i'm gonna have this i'm gonna have it for a while um no it's not my 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 bike but indian did loan this bike to me it was delivered a few days ago but it's been like non-stop raining out here in jersey and today's the first sunny day that we have so we're gonna take advantage to take the bike out test her out ah uh, such a beautiful bike yes we are in 2024 of august right now but this is a 2025 model um when indian first launched it a few months back i did a video on it um i was part of that uh launch video online when they did it um and we went over a lot of the uh, new updates that they did with the bike, what they changed. And obviously the 101 was a huge, huge, huge surprise because we knew they were gonna be changing a few things on the Scout. Uh, but yeah, I don't think anybody was expecting the 101. The 101 is the, the top of the line of all Scouts. So you guys know that uh, within the Scout lineup, you can get different type of scouts. I'll show you guys right here the uh, different type of scouts that you can get. And then now the brand new 101 for 2025. This is the top of the line. This has all the bells and whistles. And if you're looking for a uh, more performance driven type of scout, this is the one for you right here, man absolutely beautiful um one of the main things that kind of stick out to me is the suspension i've been in a few scouts before i've always liked the scout um i've never been in love with the scout but i've always liked it I've, i'm in love with the chief the sport chief is the indian that i would buy right now um but that's prior to riding this bike because after this bike then i guess i'll have to uh I have to make a I have to make a decision. Was, whoa, which is the better Indian right now? Is it the 101 or is it the Indian Sport Chief? Both similar bikes. This one obviously being a bit smaller. But they, this thing is uh oh, this thing is just comes with everything. Let me tell you something as well. The suspension right off the bat feels amazing. So you got that fully adjustable front suspension. You have the uh, reservoirs on the back for your uh, rear suspension. Super dialed in, super sporty, man. Very, very fun bike. Oh man, yeah.
definitely handles really, really, really good. Super nimble, man. The bike weighs around 500 pounds, 540-ish around there. Lightweight cruiser, small frame, packing a ton of power. Front factor, I think, is doing 111 horsepower. It also comes equipped with that 1250 liquid-cooled engine. Switch it to sport now. And if you're wondering if you can switch modes while you're riding, yes. If there's one thing that Indian is doing right with the Scout, is that it's still keeping that, that sleek look to it, man. It has such a sleek, classic look, but with such a modern twist in it as well. And it, they do such a great job of balancing classic and modern. The way they just mix everything together, especially on this bike, same thing goes for the uh, Sport Chief, man. It just, they do a really, really good job with that. So kudos to the design team for that. All right, now that the uh, sport mode is fully engaged, it was a little laggy right there at first. I guess that's one thing they still haven't improved. It's just the screen is a little, it lags at times. Oh, shit. Woo! This thing picks up quick. <laughs> Damn. I just love it that you also have the option to change your modes, man. I love that. You got rain mode, standard mode sport mode and on a bike like this you're definitely going to want to keep it on sport because it's so fun one thing i wish it just had is just mid controls because it's such a sporty bike and you kind of um, want to ride it real aggressive and the fact that it has four controls it's just weird to me i, I just i it's just weird number one I'm, I'm more of a shorter guy so i just i'm not a fan of four controls two on a sporty cruiser like this you definitely want mid controls um yeah that's like my uh my only complaint so far about it i do like the riser setup got a i believe it's a six inch riser setup really nice bmx style bar looks pretty cool same riser setup that you're gonna have on the uh, sport chief same design looks really nice I just want to see uh, how the stock pipe sounds. <laughs> nice. Got dual disc front brakes in the back. Brembo's. Uh, I love these gold cartridges in the front too. It look really, really, really good. This little fairing in the front does a pretty nice job of keeping most of that wind off your chest, but you are still going to get hit with a lot of wind. Something taller would definitely be better. But it looks really sleek, really nice. I like the fact that it's color matched as well. Yo. This guy was about to take me out. Looser. The seat feels pretty comfortable as well i'm pretty surprised because it, it looks like real thin like there's hardly any cushion in it but it uh it feels good um and it looks good as well but this today was only supposed to be like a first impression type of video we're going to be doing an in-depth review uh later on this week on the bike as well and also a ton of other stuff so if there's anything in specific that you want to know about this bike drop your questions down below make sure to read everything go through everything and um hopefully i'll be able to answer any of your questions coming up in the future videos <clears throat> but as of right now the bike feels great we gotta take her on the highway man and uh see how she feels on there so we'll do that in a few minutes um but as of right now i love the bike for around a town riding like we're doing right now very nimble very light she's quick very responsive and it's a nice looking bike <clears throat> all right time to uh get this bike on the highway see how she does i'll tell you something else the paint job on this bike they knocked it out the park man it looks fabulous
what's crazy is that you can rev this out to 9,000 RPM too, man. This 1250, uh, yeah. Woo! Woo! She picks up. <laughs> and only in fourth gear. And she still has plenty more to go. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> oh man! Six gears are fun! Oh man! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, she's fun! She is fun! This little bike right here, man! Well, I'll tell you what! First impressions around town, she feels great, phenomenal, super light. You can throw her over. Braking power is great. Suspension feels awesome. The seat feels great. On the highway, she is a little monster. I'll tell you that. If you guys are looking for a lightweight cruiser, super sporty, fast, fun, with all the bells and whistles, oh. Uh, Definitely throw a leg over this bike. Try it out, cause wow, I'm I'm impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Um, like I said, we're gonna be doing an in-depth review later on this week, so look out for that. We are also gonna be doing a ton of more videos, and if you guys do have any questions about this bike. Drop them down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the paint color. Are you interested in the Scout? Do you prefer the Sport Chief? Do you not own an Indian or a bike yet? And are you looking at the Scout? Let me know. I'm going to keep enjoying the rest of my day. It is beautiful out here in dirty Jersey. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.